Hello friends, I am Naishik from blogdo.com and welcome to a very special video because in this video I am going to show you the top 10 free WordPress plugins in the market. Now I have already created a top 10 free WordPress plugins video around 4 months ago but that video included all the obvious plugins like you know the Yoast SEO, Elementor, uh, Akismet, WP Supercache and so on. So those were of all the obvious plugins. They are the top plugins. There is no doubt they are very very useful. They are you know accepted by everyone by all the developers all the WordPress experts. But the thing is they are all the obvious plugins. You already know about them. Now in this video I'll be taking look at 10 plugins which are not very obvious not very famous but they are very useful and they are really great plugins. So let's start and before before proceeding further make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos and if you have any doubt any queries any questions any suggestions for me you can leave them in the comment section below with that being said let's get started so the first plugin that we are going to take a look at is all-in-one WP migration now this plugin exports all your WordPress files and folders including your database media files pages posts comments, authors, plugins, themes and so on, almost everything. It exports your entire website with no technical knowledge required into one single file. Now this is very important because if you go to export your file uh, in normally manually, it's just so difficult and it requires a lot of technical knowledge but using this plugin you can export it very easily very quickly into one single file and now tomorrow if you want to move your website to some other domain suppose if you have one domain and if you want to move your website to some other domain you can simply export the files from here and go to the new domain and import everything and you will have a exact same website the clone of the original website so very very useful plugin and it is very very easy to use and uh, to export and import the website using this plugin now let me show you this when you download and install the plugin you'll get this thing over here this menu over here at the left hand side you'll see all in one wp migration when you hover this you'll see export import and backup when you click on export here as you can see now you can click on this button export to file ftp dropbox google drive and so on so we want to export to file so you select this file now it is exporting your website it will take some time a few seconds or few minutes as you can see it is exporting around 6000 files but it will not take uh, much time don't worry so once it is ready you will have one file downloaded and you go to other website you download the same plugin and instead of export you click on import then you select import from file and you select that file whatever that file is and your website will be completely changed so very very useful plugin i recommend everyone to use this plugin very useful it will always help you and it is a very good well rated plugin now the second plugin that we are going to take a look in fact the second plugin is related to a category what i do is normally when i create these kind of videos i try to cover all kind of uh, plugins okay i don't cover only the page builders or just one category i don't cover just one category i try to cover all the different categories for example a website for security website for page building and website for your performance and so on and so forth okay so i try to cover all the categories so the second website of the second plugin is related to image optimization category now there are two plugins that i recommend in this category okay so the first one is wp smash and the second one is i think that it is called short pixel image optimizer if i'm not wrong now image optimization plugin is very very useful and very very important what it does is it optimizes your image it compresses your image suppose you have many different images on your website and this is very important plugin for people who have many different images on your website okay so what it does is it optimizes and compresses your image so the this uh, for example your image size is a full width size for example uh, 9 uh, 1920 into 1080 p size pixel image what this will do is it will compress the size because a normal image of that size will be around 2 or 3 mb but what this will do is it will compress it and make it around 200 300 kb so very very useful and you will will you will not face any you know change in 
the quality of the image the quality will remain uh, the same only the size will decrease okay the size will also remain the same only the uh, file size will decrease okay so very very important now this indirectly affects your seo ranking because once uh, once your images are compressed it will increase the page speed and decrease the page load time and once that happens you will gain better seo ranking and google will rank you higher so very 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 important plugin again now suppose you download this plugin for example if you download smush you'll see an option over here smush you can see at the bottom uh, left hand side now here as you can see around 340 images has been smushed or compressed then you if you want to, whenever you uh, upload a new image it will be compressed automatically okay so very very useful plugin now the third plugin in our list is orbit fox by theme isle now this is a very cool plugin because what it does is it extends the functionality of your theme it adds many different features in in your theme and on or in your website it has many different modules like social media share buttons and icons uptime monitoring google analytics it you can add menu icons in your menu okay so you can add icons in your menu bar it also has one click import page template option and you get many templates page templates uh, which are uh, you know supported by elementor as well now when you download this plugin you'll see a new option over here orbit fox and when you hover this you'll see that two different options when you click on the second one template directory You'll see there are so many pre-built uh, page layouts, professional page layouts you can import directly on your website using Elementor. Okay, so this is related to Elementor. And we click on general settings. You'll see there are so many different modules available. You can activate or deactivate them if you want. The first one is social sharing module uptime monitor so first module adds those social beautiful social sharing buttons on your website on your post on your pages the second uh, module which is uptime monitor whenever your website is down your server is down it will email you that you know your website and server is down and what you should do next now the third one is analytics integration this is a very nice module because you can uh, you know integrate your google analytics with your website very easily then you have template directory module you can add icons to your menus then there are many different beautiful things for example uh, as i said you can add icons to your menu so what you can do you can hover appearances go to menus okay now when you come over here if you see let's see let's uh, expand this when you expand this you'll see this option over here icon and you can select icon for example this is the home page so you can search home over here and you'll see a related okay you can see this icon you can use this icon for your home menu okay so very very useful plugin again so this was our third plugin now our fourth plugin is tiny mc advanced now this plugin lets you add remove and arrange buttons that are shown on your visual editor toolbar and it makes it more user friendly you can configure up to four rows of button including font size now earlier without this plugin we were not able to you know make font sizes uh, in your visual composer or in your visual editor toolbar but with this you can change font size font family background color and so on now let me show you this now let's create a new post so let's have our post and click on add new okay now if you see over here this doesn't look like the ordinary page uh, editor you have some different options over here you have these things at the top you can create tables using this you, you can see very easily you can change font size which was not possible this is possible all because of tiny mce advanced you can see you can change the font size from here you can have a background color text color text color was present but you can also have background color and so on and you can also change this format suppose you don't want these things over here and if you don't want this paragraph thing over here so you can do that as well so what you can do is you can i think you can hover appearances or maybe settings i guess let's see where is setting yeah here it is you can hover settings and you'll have this option tiny mc advance now when you click on this you can see you can uh, you know just uh, integrate it and you can do everything uh, according to your choice you can make some changes over here suppose i don't want this thing i can drag it over here under unused button and if i want something new then i can just uh, for example i want this thing mark i can bring it over here okay so this is how easy it is you can use 
emotions emojis here in over here you can add this icon at the top okay now you can add some more things for example you can add a new line okay it's all up to you so very very useful plugin i really like this it is very helpful you will understand when you if you have created a website uh, if you already own a wordpress website and you want to create post you will understand the use and need for this one and you also have this beautiful thing over here which says code whenever you want to insert some html css code it is very difficult to do with the regular page editor or visual editor but with this you can easily do it and it will display as a uh, html and css code on your website okay so very very easy okay guys now let's move on to the fifth plugin uh, the fifth one or uh, the fifth plugin in our list is black studio tiny mce widget now this is also related to this visual editor okay so what this plugin does is it adds a new visual editor widget that allows you to insert rich text and media objects in your sidebars okay without any problem without any technical knowledge okay so this is also very important earlier what was happening let me explain you this first let me uh, just deactivate this plugin uh, black studio tiny mce and after that we can understand the difference okay so here it is let me deactivate this okay and let me go to widgets okay uh, how our appearances open this widgets tab in a new tab all right now earlier when you want to add some text over here let me show you here we have text let's add over here so when you want to add text you have only these options this is the default wordpress options okay you can make it bold italic you can but only these five options but if you want those more options like we have when we add the post you can activate this uh, plugin let's activate and let's see again what happens so we have activated it let's refresh this okay now when you see when you scroll down you'll see a new option visual editor now we can add this widget over here and you'll see all these beautiful options over here so you can and we also get those tiny mc advanced the earlier plugin option as well okay we have all these options over here so very very easy to do you can add beautiful things uh, in your sidebar and in your you know footer as well so very useful plugin again now the sixth plugin in our list is updraft plus wordpress backup plugin it is a backup plugin it is a very very easy and the most important thing is it is free it is it has got more than 1 million active installs there are one more than 1 million websites in the world which has uh, still activated uh, which has this plugin activated on their website so you can understand how important and how useful this plugin is now this makes your backups and your restoration very very easy it is the world's highest ranking and most popular backup plugin you can schedule your backup it's very easy you can back you know upload your backup or keep your backup on different locations for example you can upload your backup on dropbox google drive and so on or you can have them on your local computer very very easy very useful plugin now let's see how this works now if you want to use this one you get one option when you hover settings you'll see this updraft plus backups when you click on this you'll see the options here it is you can just click on this button to backup now and it will backup all your files you'll get a new file or what you can do is you can schedule this okay so let us see we can go to settings and here you have files backup schedule okay so you can uh, backup every 12 hours uh, every day every week every month and you can uh, where you can select where you want to save your backups you can select dropbox and when you select dropbox you have to put in your dropbox credentials below when you select ftp you have to put in your ftp credentials below so very very useful free backup plugin very useful and as i said you earlier it is very popular more than 1 million websites have actively installed this plugin on their website now the seventh plugin in our list is add inserter by igor funa now this is a very very useful and very simple plugin now many people complain that they are not able to add those google ads on their website they are getting that problem that script is not loading this and that so you know i do understand it is a bit you know tricky to do it for the first time when you're doing that for the first time inserting ads on your website 
you know the location you have to choose the location where you want to add sometimes it doesn't work and so on and so forth now this plugin simplifies your work this is the best ad management plugin with many advanced advertising features and it supports all kind of wordpress ads including your google adsense contextual amazon native shopping ads media.net ads and rotating banners and so on and also you get so many different and advanced options and features with this plugin now let's see how this works when you download this plugin you get this option add inserter un uh, under settings you click on this add inserter and you can see this screen now what happens is you have to copy and paste your uh, google add script over here okay so whatever the code you get add code you have to paste it over here and you can see you you have different blocks like block one block two block three so suppose you have inserted your code under block one then you get many options you know many uh, uh, automatic options for example if you want to add or if you want to show these ads on every post you can select this thing or you can uh, select only uh, individually enabled or individually disabled or if you want to show these ads on your home page you can select this home page if you want to show this uh, these ads on search pages you can select these things and so on you can also convert this ad under short codes you can just simply tick mark over here it will convert this ad into short code and whenever you want to uh, upload this ad you simply copy this short code from here and paste it wherever you want to show this ad suppose you want to show your ad under some post you can uh, simply paste in this short code under the post if you want to show this uh, this ad on your sidebar you go you uh, you add a new widget text widget and you add this short code over there so very very useful plugin again very useful you can earn a lot of money using this plugin obviously by using google adsense and so on and it simplifies your work very useful plugin now the eighth plugin that we are going to look is actually here also you have two options this is a form builder so you have two options over here you have wp forms and you also have ninja forms so you can use uh, any one of those both are almost the same so you when you if you are using ninja forms you can hover over here you'll this you'll get this option ninja forms you can hover over here click on add new i am not including wp forms over here because i have included that plugin in the earlier video okay now when you do so you'll get many different options for example they have pre-made layouts for you okay suppose you want to create a form to maybe for event registration so you can just simply click over here and you'll get a pre-made form let us see how it looks okay you have this uh, first name last name email address any food requirement and when you click on this you can see this is actually a radio list you can select vegan you can select uh, whatever you want okay vegetarian so on and so forth and you can add or delete something from here for example if you don't want this uh, phone number from here you can simply click on over here and you can delete it let us see where we have this option or you don't click it i guess you just you just click on done you simply hover it and you'll get this option to delete it okay so you can simply delete it from here let's click on delete okay i think it is not uh, loading don't worry i think there's some problem with me my internet connection create as you can see i'm getting some error over here and if you want to add some new fields you can simply click on this plus button you have so many different options over here related to you know different things uh, you, if you want single checks checkbox you can simply add over here and you have this option then you can configure this option and so on so very very useful plugin i would say okay so you can use it according to your choice so this was our eighth plugin i guess now the ninth plugin on our list is duplicate post by Enrico Batocci. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but no problem. Now this plugin also has two more than 2 million active installs. So you can understand how famous and useful this plugin can be. Now what happens is let us first get uh, from here, get up from here and let's see what how this works. So, so suppose you click on post, you have different posts. Now I have only one post. Now instead of creating an again this thing, I can simply clone this post. Okay, so I can copy this post. You can clone add different pages as well. Now I have a copy of this one. I can edit it and this will be a totally different 
page or totally different uh, post okay so this is very very useful you have some more options over here but basically this is the basic thing that it does you get some more options you can go through the plugin page you'll see uh, what more options do you have okay so but very useful you can understand why uh, two more than two million people have actively installed this plugin on their website so you can understand how useful this can be now the last plugin on our list is BJ La Lazy Load. Very, very useful plugin. Again, it will improve the performance and speed of your website. Now what this plugin does is it, you know, does not load. What happens is suppose someone is viewing or seeing a post or reading a post on your website and that post has many different images. So what happens is if, he, if it has many different images, obviously it will take a lot of time to load that page and there are high chances that a user might just exit your website go to some other website or they might you know not like it and it is also not good for seo purpose purposes now what this plugin does is it will load your website very fast and how does this uh, how does this do because suppose you have 10 different images on one single post okay so suppose you see this page over here you have two images over here and when you scroll down do we have some more images suppose this is also an image so when you open this page only these two images will load okay and this image will not load this image will load the bottom image will only load when the user scrolls to that section now the when the user comes to this section only then this will load or else it will not load and whatever images are present in the bottom they will not load until and unless i go to that section i scroll to that section so very very important plugin again okay guys so these were my the top 10 free plugin list i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope you have find something useful uh, at least one useful video uh, plugin for your website if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel also give a thumbs up to this video you can click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos if you have any doubt any queries any question any suggestion for me leave them in the comment section below and please let me know if you know some useful plugins that you can share with me and share with the community that would be really really helpful so that whenever i create this list after two three months then i can include those plugins so please let me know if you know any special and useful free plugins okay thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon